Sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Stephen, confessor, the King of Hungary. He was the one who evangelized his country and brought the faith to his people. He asked by the 10th, 11th century, the Pope for being appointed the King of this people in order to be able, first of all, to rule over the people by teaching the faith. Because as a Christian uh, king, he was aware that the first unity in a, among the people, the first unity to keep the kingdom safe and strong is faith. He was very devoted to our Blessed Mother Mary, and in fact, he wanted to consecrate his realm to our Blessed Mother. And uh, by a special grace, he died on the solemnity of the Assumption of our Blessed Lady on the 15th of August. He wanted also to look after the holy places in Jerusalem, and he founded some stations, missionary stations in other places, and also in the Holy Land, in order to favor the, uh, the pilgrimages and uh, the spiritual journey of Christian pilgrims towards the holy, holy places. Saint Stephen is indeed a model of a Christian leader, and this is something very uh, important for these days when we are used normally to split the political power from the faith. We are more keen on saying politics is something and the faith is something different. Faith normally is something concerning our private sphere, interior life, while politics has to be left to politicians who take care of our social needs. So in this way, religion is always put into a corner, into the corner of our spiritual, interior, private life. But in this way, religion is forgotten. And with the religion, God as well, who has nothing to say to the people living in the world, who has nothing to teach to the politics and to guide the politics according to Christian values and goods. No, we as Christians say and believe that politics has to be under faith. Politics needs to be guided by the faith, by religion, and religion can never be pushed aside into the sphere of private life. Religion must be publicly acknowledged. And of course, if we say religion, we need to look for the true religion. We need to choose the true faith, that faith which enables us to be also good citizens, that unity of reason and faith, faith and charity. This beautiful harmony is found, and this is history, this is the fact only in the Christian faith, because we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, the one who became incarnate, the Creator and the Redeemer. In Him we have the unity of the natural sphere and the supernatural sphere, creation and salvation. So, in Jesus, no opposition between faith and reason, between politics and religion, between the social sphere of life and the supernatural salvation. In Him, everything is one, because as people living in the world, we aim at having eternal salvation. 
And we aim also at transforming this society into the Civitas Dei, according to St. Augustine. That is, into a place where God is present, where God abides. And only where God is there, there is true happiness and a true uh, social life. We pray to St. Stephen today to still have for these days a model of a Christian leader who put above all else Christ in order to favor the true good of all men, of all people. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Saint Stephen, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. Please remember to click subscribe and to hit the bell for notifications. And in this age of censorship, please consider helping support us at sensefidelium.com. Under the Donate and Support tab, there are plenty of ways to help support the work and to help grow and sustain the efforts of Census Fidelium in general. May God reward you, and thank you very much.